Hello everyone, welcome to Informa Special Remedy. My name is Prophetess Informa. Today I want to teach you about, about how to become a wealthy person. How to open doors of wealth. For your doors to remain permanent open. What you will do. The last time I taught you about how to open a door for wealth. In a way of making it as a covenant with God. Maintaining the covenant with that God. How you share the money, break the pot of wealth. But before then, those of you that was interested, those of you that are still interested in doing that last time as I uh, video, please remind God, go back and remind God that you don't want that year, this may be from now to one year or from now to two years for your own door to be open. Your own assignment is for you to continue reminding God. Your own job is for you to remind God the agreement between two of you. And don't close your hand. Say that because God has not done it. You start, you stop giving. No. God can test you. This one you are doing it direct with God. Remember, it's busy. You are having a business with God. So don't close your hand, even if not the cheapest money in your country. Provide whoever your hand can reach, you trust, you are genuine, that person is genuine, that doesn't have witchcraft spirit to hold your finance. Give it out. That is an agreement. Keep on doing it and keep on reminding it because God can test you. Remember, God said Abraham to move to another land. I will make you a father of many nations. God didn't make Abraham overnight father of many nations. Remember. Mr. A door open in two, within two months or one month does not mean that Mr. D door will open within one month or two months. So don't say that God has forgotten. God cannot forget what two of you is God. Your own job is to water your ground. Keep on watering your ground in prayer and in giving out. Your own job is keep on prayer and meaning reminding God and be reverent. And always tell God to give you connection. Connection can be that money you're expecting from God that can bring out that wealth. Connection that you didn't merit. Let God give you connection. More connection, not one connection. Different dimension. Let connection begin to rotate you. Favor will be rotating you. Don't forget to keep on telling God agreement between you. Based on that last video I did, for those of you that know that they can be able to maintain that video, Please, if you cannot be able to maintain it, today on, I'm going to teach you what you will do for your own door to be open. I don't want everybody to do it. If you know you cannot be able to maintain that last video I did, I wore wine, wine gown. Don't do, don't do it. This one, every, anybody, everybody can do this particular assignment. So um, today I'm teaching you what you will do for you to become rich. The agreement today on, you will get a three candle. This one is not rainbow candle. This one is three candle, three different white candle. Go to market and buy it. Then in the night, you will lighten it up. Before you lighten it up, bless the candle. When you bless the candle, you buy the spirit of the living God. But before then, remember to ask for mercy. Remember to tell God to forgive you for the sin you have committed. Not only totally the one you committed by yourself. The one that your grandfather committed that is affecting you. Because God said, I will use the iniquity of the grand grandfather to visit the fourth generation. Maybe your third generation, maybe your fourth generation. But some are ignorant of asking for forgiveness of what your great grandfather did. That can still be abomination before the sight of God. Tell God to forgive you the sin you commit directly. Whether you use eyes or heart or mind, whatever. Or the one your great grandfather committed, remind God that you are sorry for all they have did, so that you know that there is no way Satan will have anything to accuse you. In the realm of the spirit, you will not be wearing tatar garments. They will not find anything sin that will hinder your prayer. But then, this is part of wealth. For those of you that I told you, if you know you have greedy spirits or insincere spirits, or you call you. You, you will not be able to maintain that first video. This is the second one of it that everybody can maintain. Buy pot of, buy, go to market and buy pot. Pour rice inside it. Bring the highest currency of your country. As much as you can gather, depend on your own pocket. Nobody will tell your amount you can gather. But let's see those money be the highest currency of your own country. And put it inside these pots. 
which is part of wealth, part of riches, part of announcement, part of promotion, part of connection, part of increase, part of good health, connection. You put it here. You bless the rice and bless the pot. You bring three candles and put it and bless those candles. You ask God that you're inviting the spirit of the living God, which is the Holy Spirit. Invite the Holy Spirit to take over because the moment the Holy Spirit of the living God come down and take over, everything is settled. Invite the spirit of the living God because the moment he asks for mercy, the spirit of God is already there. The presence of God is already there. Ask the spirit of the living God to take over that day. today. You are, you are you want your door of riches to open, your door of announcement, as nobody can be able to can this rice. As this is meant for wealth, riches, blessing, so shall your money be begin to pop it in. Like let this pot is the temple pot of wealth in the realm of the spirit. That what you're talking about is you uncountable. You bring those money, you put it inside this pot, including this rice. You begin to pray. If you like, you wear your clothes. If you wear like, you pull off your clothes. But this one is not a covenant you're entering. That's why I say those that cannot maintain that first one should hold on for this particular video. You tell God that today you want to enter agreement that this is not covenant, that you help those who are better than. But let he God remember you and bless you. That from now to one year, that you want your door of blessing to open. Or for now to two years, depend how effective you are how serious you mean your business, you want to break through. Because some people are always discourage, so always lose hope. When they see one month pass, they didn't see anything. They think God has forgotten. God cannot. God cannot. It's agreement. Say, God, remember the agreement that this candle, you're lighting it. Let the light, this light, this candle was his mouth. Let the light of God shine in your destiny, in your world, your intercession, your prayer you're making. Let the light of God shine in your life. You, you, you carry, you set up those three candles in your front. You carry this pot of wealth. You, you put it down. You begin to vibrate. That today, any power that's still holding us, you're going to break that pot. You scatter those power. But before then, I will advise you to do cleansing. Before you do this prayer, I will advise you to do cleansing before you do this prayer and wash out and sin. Do cleansing before you do this prayer. I will advise you to do cleansing before you do this prayer. So, when you started praying over this, for praying over this this year, pot of wealth, you begin to mention all you want, but don't forget to mention connection, because connection is the main con what you are looking for. The moment God can open door of connection, almost forget it. Your bro, your bro. God should give you connection. God should make you wealthy. Mention what you want and be specific. God is listening. Heaven is listening. You want husband. Tell God the kind of husband you want. You want children. Tell God the kind of children you want. You want to be wealthy. Tell God how you want it. You want to be the richest man in your country, the richest man in your village, the richest man in your family, the richest man in your community. I don't know how you want it, but you yourself know how you want it. Address it directly that heaven is paying attention. Put yourself in order so that you will not make a mistake. You begin to mention all you want. When you mention it, you say, Father, let this morning, this point, be a witness this day that I, I, I make agreement that I will help people and better than, but not covenant. I will help people and better than. That today is an agreement that I will help people and better than. That you will be, you will be reaching out hand, not only your family member, outside. After you do all manner of prayer you want to do, you lift this pot up, maybe orphanage, maybe beggars, maybe widows, maybe a uh, motherless baby. That is orphanage. Maybe churches. I don't know how you want it. You give this pot up. You hit it for grant. You break it. When you break it, the same thing will happen. Like somebody asked me, what will the person do to the rice that's out of it? Make sure you break it in your room, not in your parlor, because that is your wealth. So that people will not become and be capping it. Break it in your room. And after you break it in your room, sweep it and keep one side in your room for some time. Before later, if you like, you eat it. If you like, throw it. But sweep it and pack it one side in your room. Leave it for some time. Use it when you just God, remember our agreement. I said I will help people. I will not be greedy. Open my door. Remember, you'll be continue making your prayer. And watch it and see how 
sudden your door will be open. And remind God that if you're a businessman, in that business you're still doing, let go make that business to be a very big business, the one you're still doing. Let God catapult that business you're doing to another level. That will not stop God to bring more connection or to open more door for you. Let that what you're doing be more, God should multiply it and God should bring extra connection. That is what how you will do it. Then after you break and sweep the rice by the side of their room, you pick those monies. Don't eat it again. It's not your money. Let he said heaven and earth. Let this money be a sign today that you enter agreement, not covenant. That you God should bless you. That you bless those you are better than. Don't, and always play over whatever you want to. The money always anoint it and bless it before you give it out. You look for maybe you send it to my account. I'm a Levi. I will use it and pray for you. Maybe you send it to to orphanage. Orphanage, you are sure that they are not using any secret power to lay the foundation so that it will go. Maybe you give it to widow. Widow, you know that it doesn't have witchcraft spirits so that they will not manipulate your finance and your prayer will not be terminated along the line or will not be affected along the line. So I don't know how you do it, but make sure that, or you give it to altar, altar of God. Just make sure the altar of God you are giving it to, there is no secret Author behind the one your ordinary eyes is seeing because the world is wicked. Or you give it to man of God, man of God, your trust is anointed, and you are hundred percent sure, not ninety-nine, that his calling is from God. God will not let you your prayer down. That is how to lay good foundation for wealth, for riches, for making your door to be open. And favor, speak for favor that as sense for that favor will begin to locate you. Favor will not cease. Anything you lay hand will prosper. That is how you speak it. You break the pot of wealth, pot of finance, pot of riches. Whatever you call this pot, you answer henceforth. Pot of connection, riches, fruitfulness, favor. That there will be nothing called miscarriage again in your finance, in your life. Our affliction will not devour your finance. That you will not experience anything called affliction. Affliction can be in the area of devouring your finance. Bringing affliction can be one word, the other trouble from one trouble to another. That is an affliction that will make you to be spending and going hospital or case. Case will be rising from one court to another. Is an affliction. We will tell God you should really wear affliction through this assignment. That that's this part of what you break. That you will not experience affliction in it. No power will cause miscarriage in this area of your wealth. There won't be anything stand as a miscarriage. That's why I say you should be careful of the way you give your money, who you give it to, so that you will not experience miscarriage. Miscarriage when your blessing is about to. Due to that, and the receipt is not genuine. Before you know it, your blessing will be aborted. I hope. Thank you very much. Please, I would like you to like my video. Please, I appreciate that from my heart. Like my video. Share my video and subscribe. God bless you so much for all those of my fans. I really appreciate from my heart. And those of you that called me, I didn't pick. I'm sorry. Maybe I was not available. My phone was not in me. I'm in a meeting. I'm in a church or one program or the other. I'm very sorry, sorry for that. And my phone number is plus 234-081-31-677-216. I repeat, plus 234-081-31-677-216. 677216. I please like my video. Encourage me for that. God bless you. If you want to ask me any question, you can shout me on my WhatsApp number. God bless you.